Hey everybody, this is Tasha, your Director of Social Marketing, and today we are going to make a great Craigslist ad that you can use using one of your videos that you've already created so that this is very compelling to um, someone viewing your post. And when they click on it, what it's going to do is go ahead and open your window that you've created, or you open your video you've created in a new window. Okay? So here's how we're going to do this. First, you need a couple things. You need to have a Craigslist account. Hopefully that's checked. You need to have a photo bucket account because what we're, we're going to be making is a JPEG. We need to have a place for that to live on the internet to give it an address. So hopefully that's a check. And then we also need to have Microsoft Publisher. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Publisher here. And what I want is a blank page. And I found that using letter, either landscape or portrait, is just fine, whatever you like. So I'm going to go ahead and select letter. So now here is my blank page here, and it's a totally blank canvas. You can design it exactly how you like, and I know a lot of you are already pretty familiar with Publisher from creating flyers and stuff, so I'm just going to make something really basic, okay? First I'm going to do maybe a little bit of word art here, okay? And I want it to say, open house this weekend, click OK. It's going to create that word art for me, so I can drag it around, I can make it a little bit larger, whatever you want to do with it, you're free to do that. And then maybe I want to put in some of uh, my own information. So first of all, maybe I want to input a headshot. So I'm just going to take the picture I want and drag it. It's going to go ahead and input that. It's going to be really big. So what I'm going to do is downsize that to the size that I like by dragging the corners. That's a pretty decent size. And then I also want to input my contact information. Okay, So I'm going to create a new text box and draw a text box here. And I'm just going to type in my information. So my name goes in there. If you are a realtor, you can go do, ahead and do that. And if you want to have that actual circle R using the um, open parentheses, R, close parentheses, it's going to make that for you. Okay. Now my next line, maybe I'd want to put that I'm Century 21 Award. And make sure just so that you're in compliance that Century is capitalized. Perfect. And then I also want to make sure that my DRE number is in there as well. Okay. So whatever your DRE number is, you're going to put that in there. Maybe I give myself two spaces. I'm going to put in my phone number. And then I want my email as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting here. I'm going to take all of my text and I'm going to move it to the right, align it to the right. And I definitely want it to be bigger. So I'll make it all say like a size um, maybe 14 to begin with. Okay. I need to do a little bit of resizing here. And I definitely want certain things to be bigger than others. So I want my name and my Century 21 award to be bold. So I'm going to control B. There it is. And I also want it to be a lot bigger. So maybe I'll make them both like a 20. And I'll make Century 21 award a little bit smaller, maybe like a size 17. Looks pretty good. And then I would also want my contact information to be a little bit larger as well. So maybe I'd increase the sizes on those. Okay, You can make those look however you want. And I'm just going to kind of move it to a space that I'm happy with. And I'll get rid of that. Alright, so that's looking like something I'm pretty happy about. So I'm just going to put it wherever I want it to be. Maybe I'll change the size of my photo. Totally up to you how you want it to look. Okay, um, And then the next thing that I'm going to want to do is add some information about the open house. Okay, so I'm going to create another text box. Maybe I'll make that one up here, and I'm going to input maybe the address of the house. So like 123 Main Street, Escondido. And then underneath it, maybe in parentheses, I'll put between Ash and Elm. Something to make it a little bit easier for people to find. And then I'd also want to include the dates and times. So Saturday and Sunday. 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, so again, I'm going to do a little formatting. I'm going to select the text. Maybe I'll make it centered. Definitely want to make it a lot bigger. And maybe I want to make, um, you know, like the address bold. Control B to bold it. And maybe I want to make the date and time bold and then also text color red. That's my little font color up here. More colors. Red. Perfect. Okay. The formatting part of it is completely up to you, however you want it to look, okay? So now let's do the big part of this, and that's going to be going to get your actual image of the video that you've created, okay? So first things first, you have to have created that video, because without it, there's going to be nothing for you to display there, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my YouTube page here, 
and we're going to pretend that this is the video that I've created. Okay, and you'll notice that there's a nice little play button on it. If the video that you've created isn't this video here and doesn't have a play button, you can either do it without the play button or we'll show you a little workaround in a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is find on my keyboard in the upper right hand corner something that says either print screen or PRT SCN or something like that and I'm going to hit it and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but my mouse will make a little bleep. Okay, very hard to see. Okay, once I've hit print screen, what I'm going to do then is open up paint and paint comes with every um, PC uh, that's Windows based. It's usually going to be under um, my program's accessories in your accessories file. So once I've opened up paint, I'm going to hit control V and that's essentially going to paste a, a printout of my screen. Okay, exactly what was on my screen. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of move it around. So you can see I've got my moving crosshairs. So I'm going to bring the corner of the video up here. And then maybe if I go down to the bottom, I'm going to bring the bottom up and just kind of crop around that image. Okay. And you can kind of do, do this at will, you know, however much you want to crop around it. For best results, what you're going to want to do is try and get as close to that video as possible, just about like that. Now, like I said, if that play button's not there, what you're going to do is leave this be, and then you're going to go to images.google.com, and in this box here, what you're going to type in is play button PNG, okay? Ignore that it said Playboy Bunnies. Apparently, that's a very popular search on Google Images. So now I'm going to hit search images, and what that PNG is, is it's going to search for a specific type of file called a ping file, and that's going to make it um, kind of clear behind it. Okay, so I'm going to select maybe like this blue PNG file and I'm going to click on it again to see the full size image. Now what I'm going to do is copy it, right click copy and go back into paint and now I'm going to paste, control V. Oh, and I guess the ping didn't do what I wanted it to, so if I wanted I could try and cut around it and erase. But either way, now you can kind of put a play button on it, okay? So if you wanted, you could do something like that. Now once you've gotten your um, image set the way you want it. What you're going to do is hit Control A, and you'll see that it now is selected all the way around your canvas. Okay, and now Control C to copy. Perfect. We can leave that be and go back into our publication that we're making. So now in the publication, I'm either going to right-click, paste, or Control V, and here you can see is what you've copied. Okay, and again, you can change the size of it. You can do whatever you want with it, move it around, etc. And you can see now it's kind of creating a compelling ad. Okay. So the last thing that I need to do in here is maybe add some details. So again, I'm going to add a text box and maybe this time I would make it like bullet points and I'm going to make it larger straight off the bat and let's say we've got like the bedrooms. I sure like that 2500 square foot number, huh? Um, maybe something about the kitchen. You know, whatever you want to say about the property, proximity to local shopping and schools close to I-15 and the 78, okay? Whatever you have to say, this is your place to kind of input that information, okay? And like I said, I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly. You can definitely take all the time you want to make it really attractive, a nice looking ad.